Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Crazy excited for today's beer. Uh, something a little different than I normally drink. Uh, and that's what I was in the mood for. And I remembered I had this in the beer cellar, um, or actually in my beer fridge. And uh, this beer was actually sent to me by Lizzie and Dan at Till Beer Do Us Part. I'll put a link in the description of their channel. They're awesome. Great beer content. Uh, we did a trade uh, a little while back. And this is a brown ale that is partially aged in bourbon barrels. And um, the only thing, the other example at all I can think of like this is Firestone Walker's Bravo. I think this one, because it says partially in uh, bourbon barrels, so it probably doesn't have as much like of a punch as that one. Um, it's, let's see, it was bottled about eight, eight or nine months ago. Doesn't have the ABV, but I'm uh, really excited to get into it. Again, I just, I got done walking my dog. I was like, I kind of want to try something uh, a little different. Um, I've had something else by this brewery. It's, uh, Terranina, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it's called Rocky's Revenge. I'm sure they're not before I took the cap off. Um, I can't remember the beer I had. I guess one that had a school bus on it. Can't think of the name. Riveting stuff, I'm sure. All right. So actually for a brown, it's a little bit more. So definitely it's brown, but on the outside, it's a little bit more ruby red. Kind of like if you took maybe a cola and added some like cherry syrup or something. It just has a little bit of a red on the outside, very much brown uh, in the center. The head is super soft khaki, very light khaki, somewhere between white and khaki. Uh, compact bubbles, good, kind of looks the part. When I was thinking brown, I was thinking a little bit more brown, but all right, let's get to the aroma. Smells good. I actually get a little bit of the wood in there. Um, definitely a little earthy. Some caramel, leather. It's not overly smoky at all, but there's like just a hint of some smoke in the background. I don't know if they're using a smoked malt at all or if that's from the barrel maybe a little bit. Just It's so faint though. Almost like some citrus in there as well. I don't know what the hops are, but ah, there's some sweetness. There's some, yeah, definitely some caramel. A little bit of a barrel, like the spirit itself. It smells really good. And again, like I don't drink a lot of browns. I like them. I just don't think to drink them often. Um, and I'm really excited for a little bit of bourbon kick. Here's to it. Cheers. That's not bad. I was really, because I didn't have the ABV on it, so I was really wondering what the uh, age would do to it. Yeah, this is good. Um, you do get a little bit more of the barrel than I thought. It's not a barrel bomb uh, at all, but you definitely do get a little bit of the bourbon itself, some of the wood itself, which is very nice with the other flavors going on with the actual brown ale. It's tough because my word bank is so limited for brown ales versus IPAs and stouts and stuff that I drink a lot. <clears throat> Easy for me to come up with descriptors. This one's a little more challenging. So again, specifically wood, a faint amount of the bourbon. Um, there's a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of coconut. So the barrel, although not, not, not dominant, those flavors are coming through and really complementing that base, just like the aroma. Um, actually get a little bit of chocolate. I'm probably going to keep saying things like a tiny amount, a little bit, because this is well-balanced. Nothing is overpowering. Um, it's smooth. I'm really, I, when I'm done with this, I'll have to look up what the ABV is. I'm super curious because there's a little bit of heat, but then it's so refreshing and light. It's not not watery, but it's so, it's, it's not thin either, but it, it, it's definitely airs that side more. It's not, you know, syrup at all kind of a thing you know you get that malt you get that like a, a a brown bread there's a little bit of that quality a little bit of like molasses on it um it's not overly sweet so i'm not getting like syrup qualities more, more yeah like molasses not overly sweet a little bit of an earth note, like again, the aroma. 
it's good. It's just there's a lot of stuff going on. This is a good challenge beer for me because, again, it's, it's not stuff I drink a lot. So it's not like words I'm used to uh, using, flavors I'm used to tasting. This is really cool. This is exactly what I want. It's something different than what I'm used to. And I like that barrel just enough in there. It's interesting. Um, if you like brown ales, definitely want to try this one. It's cool that added layer of complexity uh, uh, with all the barrel flavors coming through. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a good beer. If you see it, grab it for sure. Thanks again, Dan and Lizzie, for sending it. Uh, again, there'll be a, a link to the, in my description of their channel. Awesome content. Check them out. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Untapped. Just no high beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.